inside this narrow
Hello, friends. We're back. Let me get us some Christmas music going. Let's see, I've got Miss Claire here, Heather, Space, Geck, Herman Harding the Third, Arthur, Spicy Beans, Silver Fox. How have you guys been? Let me make sure I get us some Christmas music going and we will jump right in. Let's see here. And we'll get this house finished up and Claire and I were kind of talking today. Kind of what Geck and a couple of people were mentioning. Maybe it was Geck. But um, starting a... Like a Godric's Hollow uh, graveyard. Maybe this evening. <laughs> Hey, Zekin, what's up, buddy? 204 days until my buddy HL gets to retire for the second time. <laughs> Focus on the house. Sanisa, what's up? Yes, I did look up that name and I was kind of looking up some uh you know little pictures of it and some some screens and I'm thinking you yeah, know we might be able to we might be able to do that we might be able to pull that off but uh first we need to kind of get in here and get this a little detailed and figure out what we move on to I'm not even sure, I'm not even totally sure where we would put the graveyard. That's what, that's what Claire was saying today. She's like, it, it would work. I just have no clue. I was thinking maybe like over here, kind of going down this way, may do it there. Hey, Big Baz. Thank you, buddy. Yes, you believe we are, we're on part five already. And this was, uh, if you guys remember, this was just supposed to be the little Santa's cabin workshop here. This was not supposed to be really, you know, this big, large build, but we just couldn't stop. <laughs> oh, check it out, Heather. I have got you a new waterfall. I got you a new waterfall emoji <laughs> with the little crying guy. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I'm just trying to think. Trying to kind of think. See, it's okay that this house is a little skinny as far as that goes because it's really only meant to be looked at from this way, really. You know, I don't want to pick too many. I don't want to pick this apart too much, but... <laughs> oh yeah, you know we need to get a we need to get a panda emoji, don't we, spicy beans? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it real good, but the waterfall one, I've got the waterfall, and then uh, I've got like the little crying, I've got the little crying emoji up beside it because they're so beautiful. Oh yeah, Harden said we gotta we have to get us a we have to get us a little chimney put in here. Hey, what's up, Birch? <laughs> yeah, I got snuck some new ones in there on you. <laughs> I 
All right, let's see. Do I have this set? Okay, align to surface? No. Yes, you're right. I do have to try to get a... <laughs> we got to get some kind of panda. Panda one in here. That's set too far forward? A little bit. Hey, no problem. I know, that's what I was telling Heather. I got to get some kind of S-Daddy. <laughs> S-Daddy one going. Oh, Daddy. We need, I need a little bit of porch clutter. I just don't immediately know what. I need some porch clutter. <laughs> Let's just cycle through here a minute and see if I see if anything catches my attention on the wall coverings. Uh, what about props? Props, props. You know, I could probably do like this right here and get one of these little regular guys and the snow will leave them, of course. Kind of put that up here on their little porch. Well, what about those little... little decorative pot. I wonder if it just so happens to be Christmas here or do, are these do these people live like in a perpetual state of Christmas? Like can, can they not escape this like place? <laughs> be kind of creepy. Yeah, some little flower pots. Even a couple little chairs on the front porch. Da -da 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 -da. Claire better not pout. She better not cry. Because the creepy nightmare Santa will come steal all her presents in the night. Creepy pandas watching everything we do. <laughs> this is looking pretty cozy. I like this. I like it. I do need something to kind of put on this wall in here, though. Um, maybe we can have like a little shelf in here. This is just something to, if you're looking in here through the window. There we go. You know, one of those probably wouldn't look too bad up above this main like upstairs window and some lights up there maybe 
We need some light. Dun, 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 dun. Why has the music stopped? Why has the music stopped? Let me see why the music stopped. Oh, there we go. It hadn't stopped. It was just low in my... Low in my ears. Wow, I flopped that in there all perfect. Giggity. That was strange. The only thing I don't like, even in the picture that I showed you guys today, is this, this roof line right here. I wonder if I could... I've got a piece of brown trim... <laughs> have, the, have the panda looking out of every window. <laughs> Claire, are you are you actively trying to give yourself nightmares? He's just too creepy. Go away, you. The porch panda replaced the elf. <laughs> yes, he's watching. He's watching you. Let's see. There was a little wooden piece I saw. In wall cover. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get us a panda emoji. There we go. That kind of makes me feel better about that roof, about that line. That was just something just off about that. Amali, what have you been into today? Hey, thank you, Claire. Yeah, just trying to, you know, Give a little character to the street here. Little character to the street. Yeah, me too. Is everybody almost ready for Christmas? This this Christmas just seems weird this year. Like it's all it all it's almost like everybody just kind of has the the attitude and the feeling of like just wanting to get this over with so we could try to like hurry up and just try to get to moving towards some normalcy. <laughs> it's just a 
This Christmas just has a weird, weird vibe to it. Still fun time of year though, just just a little weird. Hey, thank you. I love your Zeus. Glad you're enjoying this. Our little, little bit of Chris, Christmas mischief here, as Heather and I call it. <laughs> that has turned out pretty stinking cool. I love the word mischief. I kind of feel like, <clears throat> like that's kind of like what we do, isn't it? Hey, Jill said, let's get us some smoke going up here. There we go. Little cozy fireplace. Do we have everything lit up okay? Yes, got the light on the ice cream parlor. I got that ice cream parlor off the workshop. Oh, Claire, I don't know. Did I get to show you the train like moving through the town in person? I don't think I did. Let me just show you this real quick. Then we're gonna delete that as we kind of move out that way. But check this out. I have sunk the track like just, you know, way, way down into the road, just barely sticking up. And I've slowed the train way down, you know, so it's not barreling through town here. And um, look. We've got the little train coming through the town. Oh, you did catch the video. Very nice. <laughs> I saw this meme. It said, maybe the Grinch wouldn't be so hateful if he didn't have a guy following or follow, following him around all day singing in his head what a piece of crap he is <laughs> oh we got this little chunk out here too i've got to do real quick cap that off and then i guess I'll probably come back later and touch up the the very back of the house but that's a little non-consequential right now so i'll move along here with you guys. <laughs> yes, Claire is 
dedicated. Claire, do you know you've been subscribed to me for three years? Three years. I was 30 when you subscribed to me. I wasn't even barely out of my 20s yet. Yes, Claire is interested in the carousel as well. <laughs> but she also thought the the uh, our little graveyard build would be cool too. Because you know, I was th it was funny. I, I asked Claire. I'm like, you know, the only thing is, I uh, I don't know if a si like a graveyard is like too dark for a vibe like this and Claire's like well really as far as like as far as you like as far as the UK goes a graveyard in a setting like this is more like peaceful and relaxing and you know families it's like reflecting and it's not like I don't think we have to put like a a scary creepy spin on it kind of like our little panda guy as more so of like a calming, snow-filled, relaxing type type area is I think what we could try to pull off. Hey, Warble showed up. Warble, you are just in time. We, uh, just kind of wrapping up on our little Main Street house here. You know what would probably look better though is a little. I need so I need a window on this side of the house with some lighting. Looks kind of weird just to have it kind of bare over here. Dear old, dear old, dear old, dear old, dear old. <laughs> S Daddy is up to. We're gonna get into some carousel shenanigans here in a few minutes. Finish up this house. <laughs> you know, the usual. <laughs> oh, we've got to do a. Uh, we have to do a, a toy shop. And let's get this a little lit. I assume any sort of graveyard will be attached to a church seems fitting. Yep. Yep, we'll have to get some kind of, some kind of little, I could try to copy the church that's in Dollywood. It's like a pretty little, pretty little church. Especially in the snow, if you've ever seen it in the snow. Ding, 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 ding. These songs just roll so good. Ding, 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 ding. It can be full of pandas. Oh yeah, Herman's right. Remember, I, I had a really cool, uh, I had a really cool toy shop in Planet Coaster. I had the little train up on top of the building. Um, I did have a creepy teddy bear up on top of that building though too. So I don't know what it is with me and like these little weird 
bear creatures. <laughs> See, Herman's been rocking with me a long time, too. He even remembered the, the Planet Coaster <laughs> toy shop. I think we're good on this house, guys. So the house took us a full stream in about 30 minutes, 25 minutes into this one. But it was worth it to kind of get the detail down. You know, if we have to, I can... Because there's there are some really good um, blueprints out there, but you know you kind of want to throw in your own stuff here and there as well, not just all blueprints. You know, Holly, check it out, Holly. I've got a couple new emojis for you. I've got the waterfall emoji. I've got our wolf howling emoji. I've got our JWE key emoji. <laughs> Night of the Living S. Dan Wolf. And then regular. <laughs> you guys would like this one. Look the the JWE key emoji. It's like the it's like the little tyrannosaur, but it's got a key, and then it's got the little guy like with his finger on his chin, like huh? <laughs> I thought y'all would get a kick out of that. That's so funny though, because like nobody knows but us. <laughs> Drew hasn't even seen that yet. Yeah, Claire was getting caught up on the stream, Holly, and she's like, you all are... What did S. Dan have in his drink? <laughs> Bold and Holly and Heather and them and Silver Fox have dubbed me S. Daddy. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, cool. I will send that to you. I need a station. <laughs> See you later, bud. All right, I could sit here for like a whole nother stream and work on that house, but I think I'm going to make myself stop so we get a little... um. So we get a little work done here. Did Drew have a stream? I didn't think Drew streamed today. I thought you all were going to go, like, pick on him for me. That's Daddy and Drew, baby. Yeah, S. Danta, S. Daddy, Beyond Daddy, and Drew Baby. I thought Drew was supposed to stream today. I hadn't, I hadn't, uh, haven't talked to him yet. <laughs> Little nerd. <laughs> Drew clearly knew we were up to something. Old Drew.
You know, I still can't, I don't 100% remember how Drew and I met, but it may have been through Jaunty, but I just remember we like just kicked, we just, we just hit it off. Right when I met that little goofball. But I don't remember what the cir I don't remember what the circumstances were. Maybe I may have met him in the Bro Nation Discord. Possibly. And then he sent me a message asking if I wanted to help him and uh, HPK and on uh, on Luna Wood. I think that's where I met. It's been so long. I think that's where I met him. Cyberus. Cyberus is here. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm, that's how I think we met. He asked me to help with Luna Wood and I built that log flume ride for him. See how this looks coming down the road. Oh, that's a pretty cool, that's pretty cool down through the sight line here. Kind of like the big carousel moving down here. Old Drew. My little buddy Drew. Yeah, thank you, Cybers. I think it, I think that'll work over there. Kind of got all the action. You've got the you've got the ice skating rink here. You've got the ice cream parlor, the inn, Santa's workshop. Um, you've got this this kind of like little filler cabin. You've got the new house, and then kind of the carousel down, kind of anchoring that crossroad right here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, this is a, uh, maybe this is like the, uh, the owner of the carousel or something because yeah, that would probably get pretty annoying. <laughs> And then we'll definitely want to get some fencing up here. And probably some lighting on the fence. Is this stream almost about to end? Yeah, we'll probably wrap this up in about, I'd say about eight minutes or so. Let you guys get out of here. <laughs> nah, we probably still got a little while. Can't leave you all hanging this quick. That's <laughs> daddy standard time. Eight minutes is three hours. <laughs> SST.
<laughs> S Dan after dark. You just never know what's going to go down in these streams, do you? Sometimes we'll, we're um, we're nice and normal, and you know, sometimes you guys are trying to get me to set up an OnlyFans. I mean, we just we don't we have no clue how this is going to go, other than get really creepy. <laughs> Said, I wonder what tier that would be called. <laughs> That'd be the daddy tier. <laughs> I'll let myself out. <laughs> Missed. What's up, buddy? I am fixing you guys up a Christmas village. <laughs> We've been having a pretty good time. What have we been at this? Like a few days? Four or five days? We haven't been at this a week, have we? Didn't we like just start this like at the beginning of the weekend or last like Friday evening or something? I feel we've not been working on this long because remember it was just supposed to be a house and we've kind of taken it a little too far <laughs> with, with just a house. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, that's <laughs> Daddy Village. That's good marketing. <laughs> At what point does this cozy Christmas town start becoming a Christmas city? <laughs> Yep, that would be a that would be a cute little ice rink. Here's the one we did a couple nights ago. So you kind of walk in right here and get signed up, get your skates, and then hit the pond. And we have a frozen waterfall. We are proud of this waterfall. Claire pressured me into building it. But now we found this really cool uh, carousel on the workshop. And so we are, we are making it, we're going to try to make it work here at the end of this little crossroads section. <laughs> Christmas Metropolis. <laughs> Just 
Just kind of box this off over here and get some vegetation up and some rock work. You did a good stinking job on that ice rink. That was fun. You did a lot of good TMTK work. Red Mist and um, Dead Eye Duck. Those were definitely a couple of my go-tos. Leaf Productions, I believe he had me some pieces set up. Um, what was that girl that used to really do some good animal? Uh, Miss Red Nebula had some awesome, um, awesome pieces she would put on there. Fun times. <laughs> S Daddy Soap. I feel it was so long ago since we were in Planko and the TMTK. Yeah, remember I did the, um, I did the, uh, remember I had that series going with the, uh, the TMTK reviews? That was fun. Basic Builders back. Thank you for joining us, buddy. Mass Bandit just kind of, his saying just kind of flashed into my head when I said that. Thank you all for joining me. I always do appreciate it. <laughs> oh, masked. Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit, thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. I always do appreciate it. And Drew's like, Hey everybody, Beyond Drew TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Luna Wood. And today, <laughs> and then old Jaunty with the patented, hello you. Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Pinewood Hills. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think I heard a pumpkin out in the wild. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Claire, don't you love my impressions, though? I nail all these little guys. Oh no, Thiago does not get much. Thiago is probably not going to experience a snowy Christmas. <laughs> we may hear. That was more Southern England. John T is from Birmingham. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, Ed. You like your all's island is like there's so many different dialects that, you know, it's not just you all. Yeah, absolutely. You all do not sound the same. I mean, you know, it's just interesting, just like here. <laughs> oh, D&D &D was good. John T., uh, he finished that up awesome. That was a, that was a good, little, good little one shot. That was fun.
Yep, that we had a blast. Especially with with it being like a just a knowing it's ending, it was kind of that was kind of tough on Jonty to try to wrap it all up within you know 2-3 hours. It was that was interesting. Oh yeah, Claire, they're talking about it. They just uh we're just um kind of we're you know we're, we're like we're going to it's kind of like everybody's just a little hee hawing around with it we kind of we talk about it at the beginning of every time we jump on there like oh my god these people would love to to listen to us you know do this but we'll get i think in 2021 we'll we'll get it it'll happen I can definitely say that Ohio's got a distinct sound from northern to southern. At a certain point, you just get a southern twang. <laughs> Does Ohio touch? So I'm, I'm thinking like once they, one, the closer you get to Kentucky, probably the more, doesn't Ohio touch Kentucky at some point? It, that's probably when you kind of get the more of the, the little bit of draw like laziness. <laughs> Next D&D character needs to be S Daddy. I would do that just to so they would have to call me that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I get along with people from Kentucky pretty good. I, I don't mind them. Just just not Virginians. Ew. You know, people from Virginia don't even like Virginians. Yep, the southern border touches part of Kentucky. The other part of southern Ohio is next to West Virginia. I love Texans and their accents. Talk to my aunt tonight in Houston. Love that accent. Yeah, they they the Texans definitely have a distinct like little draw. Interesting stuff. You know what could probably go right here if it's not too big? There, I found a cool, I found a cute little snowman on the workshop. Let me show you him. Where is he? Somebody built a very, very cute little snowman. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Here he is. Isn't that cute? Would he look cute right there, kind of pulling everybody down the road? I think he's cute. <laughs> My ex-husband was from Danville, Virginia. They are different people. <laughs> Yes. Danville, Virginia, not too far from Martinsville Speedway. I could beat a Danville in like probably just outside of an hour. Little ways above Bristol. Yeah, you guys like him? Let me give a proper shout out. Who did I get this snowman from? I received it from Rohana Ardeus. 
So yes, ro search for Rohana or search for Christmas at the Zoo Snowman. Oh wow, Rohana's got a lot of neat little... Oh, check this out, y'all. I did not even see this. Rohana has a Dutch windmill that we could possibly decorate for Christmas in this town. Hold the phones. Let's see. I could put this windmill like kind of up on a hill. Let me see if it I don't of course I don't know how big it is. It just caught my attention. Where is that little windmill? Must have missed it. There it is. Anno 1800 flower mill. Oh hell yeah. Yep. This is going in. This town absolutely has to have this. <laughs> I mean, come on. Is that not epic? That is awesome. Yep, we will get some lights on that. We will shine that up and get it. We will find a hill for that, <laughs> for sure. Hey, fight or flight. You know what though, Claire? You know what I didn't get to mention you to you today? Another little thing that I think would be cool is what if, just hear me out here, what if I brought in over here kind of behind the uh, waterfall, what if I brought in, remember I think I saved the Suyana marketplace as a blueprint, but changed all of the shops out and made them like Christmas shops. I was just thinking of that today about bringing that in and how cool would that look. Hey, here's my... St we can find a place for the cottage, too. I mean, it's not really Christmassy, but we could decorate it kind of like for Christmas. I totally forgot about the cottage. Yeah, fight or flight, and we could probably just get some good lighting on it and not make it look so dreary and creepy. Let's see if I can steal one of these little lights here. Because, you know, this, the village here kind of has a certain little glow to it. You don't want it, I don't want them to be way different. But we can turn this Christmassy pretty quick. Not too bad. It kind of, 
you know, think of this as put the churchyard next to the cottage. Yes, creepy but not creepy corner of the town. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I like it. Hmm. I like it, I like it, I like it. Hey, thank you, Aiden. If I missed any of you guys, hello, welcome. <laughs> Ooh, yes, cottage need, we need to, we need to wreath this up a little bit, don't we? Da -da -da -da. One momento. You know, I have this larger one. There we go, that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. And this cottage is on the workshop if you guys want to go grab it. Um... We did this like a, almost like a little one-off build a while ago, wasn't it? You know what, Aiden? I don't know if I picked the right one to... I don't know if I picked the right one to do that. <laughs> I don't know if... That would have been a good idea. <laughs> Claire said, I love the way this game is called Planet Zoo and we've not got an animal or zoo in sight. <laughs> well, you know, S. Dan. <laughs> Dan for you <laughs> that's sedan. <laughs> Now, what were you guys saying as far as the windmill goes with the pond? What on ever do you mean? <laughs> That's us, Daddy. <laughs> 
on the back right side beside the trees. So kind of like over here. Back this way, in front of the reindeer. Ah, let's see. Because, you know, you want to pile up some snow, too, just like they do with Christmas Village pieces. You know, some people, like, put shoe boxes underneath their fake snow uh, to raise everything up. You know. <laughs> we love our sight lines. Yep, little old windmill on the hill. For Christmas and Happy New Year. I don't know if I'll be able to watch this and make it out of here without starting an Arctic Zoo. I just started a rainforest zoo. <laughs> I want it to last more than a day. It does look pretty cool up there, doesn't it? Especially if we get some lights on it. <laughs> Firefly's like, wait just a second. This is the little festive light. See? Arctic Festic Bobble Light number three. <laughs> had to give had to give Rudolph a nose. <laughs> hey, see you, Arthur. Man, we have got a lot going on here, don't we?
see, so what are those windmill blades made of? I think it's a fence. I can't tell. Um, East Asia water wheel plank. And then the African hanging cloth. It's pretty stinking cool. Claire said the, the lights in the trees need to go on the sails. Yes, this is going from a cozy little Santa house to an epic town. <laughs> oh yeah, Aiden, this was a fun little, fun little, um, kind of like extra little detail. I was sitting here one night after stream, actually, and I was like, I want these trees to have a little more pop. And I thought, okay, why not just string lights in them like, you know, we do on the buildings. And it just ended up working. That was a pretty good idea, Claire. Pretty good idea. Hmm, don't really need them on that side. If any of you all talk to Romera or know her, um, tell her Esten said thank you. <laughs> I don't want to bug her, but this is cool. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Kind of like the mill right here in town. Yes. Oh, this is Rahana. I follow her on Steam. She has some very nice items. Yes. Look, she's got a little horse up here. I just noticed that. A little horse and cart. That's cool. Dun, 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 dun. I think the music has stopped. S Dan will be your music. <laughs> you probably won't stay here long. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Cyber's coming through with the snowman. Cute. Kind of wanted to bring this up a little and kind of have some pines up here. I know, that's what Heather was saying. She's like, I love your stream countdown music. It just kind of, just kind of vibes, doesn't it? It kind of gets everybody, gets everybody rolling and settled and. Yeah, I like it too. You know, there's been a couple times where I've thought about giving Stardew Valley a, a try. I've just never really, never really sat down to mess with it. Old Stardew, they just come out with a with a big update for that, I believe. If I was reading correctly. Simply Savannah. All right, Savannah, we've got we've decided to bring in a little lighthouse for the village. But also, check this out. We've custom made like a little craftsman style house for the little main street. That's our little house. And then also, we brought in the cottage. A little Storybrook cottage. And of course, we've started the I kind of got a little sidetracked from this. This is kind of where we started <laughs> uh, with the carousel. So we'll have to we'll have to get back to that. Have to get back on that. But we're kind of turning our attention to the to this awesome windmill we found on the workshop from Rohana. Thank you, buddy. Well, Aiden, I we I think we'll definitely get animals in at some point. I want to definitely do um, some of the the reindeer, but I, uh, you know, we're just kind of rolling along, seeing what we can make happen with the building and stuff. But yep, I'm thinking we will probably, most definitely, get some caribou in here at least. Where are my little... That wasn't really it, but that doesn't look too bad. It is cold, cold, cold looking out here, isn't it? Oh yeah, and today the uh, the steam winter sale started, didn't it? A lot of stuff probably be going on on sale starting today. 
Yeah, Silver Fox was right. I am liking that... That windmill. That is pretty stinking cool. Thank you, fight or flight. I've got to get you guys a Suyana Zoo uh, kind of update put together as well. I have not filmed in that in a while. Even sent me the park file back. Zoofluencer is going to build in it. Beyond Drew wants to build in it. I have got a... I've got to get a little bit filmed, especially because tonight, I don't think, um, after tonight, well, actually, after hearing just a little bit, I've got to probably run and get some supper. Um, I don't think I'll be streaming again, guys, until, um, possibly Saturday. Because I don't think I'm going to be here tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday is Christmas Eve. Friday's Christmas. You know what? I may have a Friday night. I may have a Christmas night um, stream on Friday. Don't hold me to that. But I'll put some Suyana videos together. Um, just some recordings for you guys to look at bold signs and give the regular crowd um, that doesn't catch the streams, a little bit of a Suyana Zoo catch-up. And um, then we'll kind of get back to the streams over the weekend. But yeah, I'm thinking after tonight, you probably won't hear from me on stream for Wednesday or Thursday. But I'll try to come back Friday night, kind of after all the hustle and bustle is over. And yeah, so we might might do that while you guys are at home all snuggled up in your jammies come by and hang with OS Dan on late Christmas evening Christmas night Savannah also S Dan I'm so behind on YouTube stuff because I'm so wrapped up in Red Dead 2 and it's all your fault <laughs> that is not hard to do is it you can get really enveloped in RDR 2 I would crap my pants if you did a Red Dead Redemption 2 stream. Now, your audience probably wouldn't because they're kind of, you know, they're more used to the Planet Zoo and, the, you know, not murdering people and shooting people in the face with shotguns. But, hey, I would be there. I would be there front and center. I would join you on stream for that. <laughs> Now, that's one of those games where you don't even have to record or stream it. It is just, that is one of the rare games nowadays that I just play to play it and don't really have to stream. I mean, we did stream it a little bit, but um, that is, uh, yeah, that is fun. <laughs> yes. Yep. Or you just sometimes you just have to take the plunge and be like, just do it for, you know, the four people. <laughs> and then slowly, you know, more people kind of catch on and, you know. Yeah, nobody really was. Well, Holly was there. She liked it. Mama Ortega liked it. Um, Cybers showed up uh, every once in a while. Heather, Silver Fox, but there are not, not as many uh, as, as interested in uh, Red Dead as some of the Planet Zoo builds, I'll say. 
But anyways, guys, yeah, I guess I have uh, I have kept you here an hour and a half. I am going to jump off, and uh, I'm probably going to eat. Then I'm going to come back downstairs and record some Suyana videos. Um, just because it's been so long since we've been in there. And I've, I'm still getting messages or people are like sending me DMs on Instagram asking where Suyana is and what happened. So we, I've got to get back in there and get those people some, some a couple of videos recorded at least a, for the next couple of days. <laughs> Combat Wombat said, somebody send help. My Ark Survival Evolved is playing Planet Zoo music and there's no YouTube or anything playing. <laughs> Planet Zoo is spreading. Fun times. I spent a many, many hours on Ark. <laughs> But yeah, guys, I will go ahead and throw up the, uh, I'll throw up our little end screen here so we can kind of chat a little bit and tell everybody bye bye And, uh, but yeah, thanks as always for coming out and hanging out with me and be on the lookout for some Suyana little poking around update video, probably tomorrow, I'd say, um, uh, maybe one on Christmas Eve, but we'll, we'll get some stuff out and, and let you guys come and hang out with me and hopefully be back here, like I said, Friday night. But uh, yes, I will catch you guys then, and give me a sec to, we'll roll this outro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and everybody have a great Christmas. Happy holiday if I don't hear from you. And I hope you get everything you've been wishing for. <laughs>
ocean, a cave, a dream that no one could save, a shelter, a whole act, a light that died with the night. You and I, we got our differences. Inside this narrow maze.